to whom it may concern. This is Kyle Cohen speaking, and I am just here to say that I have just finished the end of the Stoke Conjecture series, which is quite long, really. Um, 45 parts, I did not expect it to be that long, <laughs> but for me, it was a very interesting journey and I would like to thank you for all the support and all the love that you give to this Christmas special of Detective Spectacle Bear and Greenfly. It means a lot to me and all the cast involved. Also, I'm also here to say that it doesn't end here. The Christmas special, the Detective Spectacle Bear Christmas special, is actually part of a trilogy. And in part two and part three, we will slowly try to unravel, unravel the mysteries, unravel the story, and untie the knots of each point of the story. The second and third part will be dispersed throughout the timeline of Caillou Cohen's world and Spectacle Bear and Greenfly's world as they are interrelated with one another. Right, so with that out of the way now, now that we've finished one project, we could assume now that Caillou Cohen will resume to Black Squares and Bonafide Day and every other humming and talking related things. Ah, also, teddy bears, teddy bears, teddies, fluffy darlings, all of the Kayuko Hen workshop cast are more than delighted to get back at, to their hangout workshop place and be in front of the camera. I think it has been quite evident that they really like being in front of the camera and right, have a sweet and tender day. Yours truly, Caillou Cohen. Postscript, me and my team may have intentionally forgot to inform Spectacle Bear about the few minor details of what would become of him at the last few episodes. And trust me, he was horrified that I took his supposedly soon-to-be knitted scarf and turned them into instant noodles. Though he did later add later on, after a bit of hesitation, that they were very good-looking noodles. The funny thing is that many people that watched my channel told me that the distorted scarf looked very much like the noodles sold at a particular restaurant chain, which prompted all to race to that restaurant and order that menu. Some of them even shared me the photos. I told them that I would have done the same if it were not for me being stuck in the middle of very puffy, poofy schedules. Right, yes, for those who have very puffy, poofy schedules, too, I wish you all the very best. Bye.